Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you Dell Monitor No Sound. How do you fix it? So, if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. In this case, you might be wondering, uh, how do you fix this issue here with your Dell Monitor with no sound? Well, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to ensure that your Dell Monitor is not the problem. Now, sometimes if you just uh, bought your Dell Monitor here, especially if it's new, sometimes some of these devices can be defective. So what I would suggest you try doing here is maybe connect it to a different device or a different computer first. And in this case, you want to uh, make sure that your, in this case, the actual product or the Dell Monitor is not the problem. So if it does work for other computers or other devices out there, it means that the problem itself might be the settings that you set up for your PC. But then again, if it also does not work on uh, uh, on other devices, then the actual problem would be the actual monitor. So in this case, again, if it the problem itself is from your computer, well, there are a few things that you could do here to probably fix that. So in this case, at the bottom right of your screen, you should see a speaker for, uh, option here. Well, typically, you should be able to see it at the bottom right here, but optionally, if you don't see that, you could go and click on the hidden icons here, uh, but, uh, open it up, and you should be able to see the speaker here, but then again, I already see it here. So let's go ahead and right click on it, and you wanna click on sounds. Now from here, you wanna go to playback here, and from here, you want to look for the Dell speaker. So in this case, if uh, in this case it will come with Dell speakers here. So if you do see it in here, what you need to do is you need to right click on it. So in this case, just right click on it, and you want to make sure that it's actually enabled. So if you do see disable here, it means it's currently enabled, so you won't have to worry about it. But in this case, uh, what you need to do once you have it connected here is you want to actually click on the set as default device as well. Now, sometimes setting your, uh, in this case, the Dell speaker as the default device here can solve a lot of issues. But once you've set this as the default device, just click on apply and OK and see if that solves the issue. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.